All right, here we go. DJ Academics, welcome back to Vlad TV. It's good, Vlad. I know you was missing my, my presence in here, man. I was, man. I was. It's been, it's been a few months. Nah, it's been a few months. We're back, we're back again. Yeah. I'm back at a perfect time. Right, right. And you know, I did your show yeah, yeah. a couple months ago. Yeah, you yeah. know, you and I kind of go back I know, and forth. I know, I know. This this time around, I was like, yo, I, I got to get to Vlad. And I hate that I, I, I rescheduled on you, and I was like, I, like I, I'm a man of just like responsibility and integrity. So I'm like, oh, man, I want Vlad to think I'm curving him. So let, let's get this done. <laughs> it's all good. And you're right, it is a perfect time right now because hip-hop is in an uproar. And, of course, it started on uh, Metro Boobin Futures Like That. Oh, you starting with that one. There's a lot of stuff. That one. There's a lot of stuff, but I think that's the one to start with. So it started with the Kendrick verse. Yeah. You know, he said, fuck sneak dissing, first person shooter. Hope they come with three switches. Of course, first person shooter was a song with Drake and J. Cole. Mm -hmm. And then he said the line that everyone's talking about. Motherfuck the big three. It's just big meat. Then, of course, he said, uh, for all the dogs getting buried, that's okay with all these nines, you're going to see Pet Cemetery." Clearly a shot at Drake and J. Cole. Yeah, he shot the whip up, man. Yeah, he, he shot, shot the whip up. I'm, I'm going to be honest with you, disrespectfully, you know, <laughs> let people know. You know, you know, the funny thing is, and I've been realizing about Kendrick, Kendrick is like, a, he's like, he's like the level of respect or even handle these guys like with any type of decorum. I mean, he's been doing it since Control, you know. You know, he said, uh, I heard it talk in a barbershop all the time is who's the, who's the greatest, me, Jigga, or Nas, or something like that. Mm. You know, and then he mentions Eminem, Andre 3000, and he says, the rest of y'all, y'all is just new dudes. Just don't even get involved in this. And it, Like, <laughs> he, he never really respected his peers. And I think always, you know, I'm going to blame this whole thing on, on J. Cole, really. Mm. J. Cole's been the one trying to, like, walk in the middle of the little brother, so to speak, the middle child, trying to keep yeah. his hands around the two other brothers that really want to go at it. And uh, he been, he's been saying this big three shit all this whole time. Yo, it's big three. It's us. It's us. It's us. Like, Kendrick never looked at you. The whole time was like, who's us? Like, I don't <laughs> So, I mean, you know, two things occurred, right? Him and Drake should have already kicked off. But something happened along the line where his relationship with J. Cole severed. And that you could actually see it being documented from when they were first linked and seen in the studio and they were supposed to do an album. Yeah, you've been hearing about this uh, J. Cole, Kendrick album yeah. forever, but you've never heard any songs or no. any progress or no nothing. No. But and then again, but then again, just to be fair, Kendrick's had a lot of albums. Like the Black Hippie album never came out. That's with his own label mates. So it seems like Kendrick is just doing Kendrick the whole yeah, time. Punch used to tease it, like, hey, they got a couple projects. Absol went on, um, while he was on a Breakfast Club one time, uh, he was asked about it. Yo, what's up with this, like, this Kendrick and J. Cole project? He's like, nah, it exists, it's coming. Uh, Punch was like, yeah, we're waiting on them. Like, it, but, but it's happening. Hmm. And then years later, when a fan finally said, yo, we need like a couple, like, couple tracks, he was like, nah, this ain't ever coming, it's over. And that was like kind of abrupt where people were just like, oh, they're just not going to put it out. But I have to imagine something along the line happens. And I really think that, yeah, I, I think that, um, I think Kendrick and Drake were parents fighting over um, custody of uh, J. Cole. Drake won custody in family court. And of course, Kendrick a little mad. You know what I mean? I think that's what happened because he, the way he does both of them. It, he acted like he don't even have a relationship with them, which I imagine he doesn't really have one with Drake. Drake, back in the day when he did Control, Drake, his demeanor was, are we really dissing or we're rapping? Like, I can't tell it because you're not standing on it. I think he, his line specifically was, hey, you're going to call my name out to get a moment, and then you're going to just say you're just rapping. Well, that's not that's not how I do it. Like, usually if you're going to call my name on it, you're going to stand on whatever you say. So, you know, uh... I'm still blaming this whole thing on, on, on J. Cole. He's been acting like these three are kumbaya. I mean, the culture's kind of wanted them to be kumbaya. And, um, yeah, Kendrick said, fuck that shit, man.